Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So today we got a weirdest device to explore. So we got this device. So I got this device with few other devices I got for my spare parts. And this device I got it as a dead device. The battery of this device actually was dead and I had to like revive the battery. Then it is working. But it is a kind of weird device as you can see here. It is pretty nice though. Uh, the back is in glass. The front is plastic and the buttons are touch screen so i i don't really get if it is a dumb phone i will not buy a dumb phone with a touch button actually i don't really think anyone will buy a phone with touch buttons it's pretty annoying and also we got a back camera and we got power button my usb port down here and also our sim tray you can put dual sim and also can put a sd card uh, it is a hybrid sim slot so if you are using dual sim you can't use micro sd card and also we got a reset switch somewhere here as you can see here we got a reset switch here and main thing of this device actually it is pretty thin as you can see here it's pretty thin and pretty lightweight and it also got a camera here pretty useless though but it got a camera too so now turning on the phone so as you can see here one thing uh, I have noticed in this device actually the display is pretty I'm bright. Smart and fashion phone. So as you can see here, whenever you turn on it, will make this noise. I mean, smart and something fashion phone. Yeah, it's kind of fashion phone, but it does have use case. And now it is connected to my phone. So there is few use case of this device actually. So now let's first explore the menu. So if I go to menu, we have contact. And if I open the contact, as you can see, it is showing two things, BT and local. So if you connect your phone with this device, it will show all the contacts of your device here. And if you go to phone, also it will be the same case. If you like, if you go to call logs and you can like check all the call logs, all call logs. If you go to BT section, it will show the BT section of all call logs so kind of useful if you connect your device with Bluetooth it is working same as a smartwatch if you use some kind sorts of a smartwatch or a health tracking watch those also have similar kind of feature so this is doing the same thing and also we got a setting panel here if you go to setting we got profile we got phone setting one thing I have to say that the touch buttons are pretty responsive but I don't find them pretty useful like buttons but they are they are there and they are you can use them that's it if you go to misc like misc setting or miscellaneous setting if you go to display section as you can see display go pretty bright now I'm in like 20% and display setting there are nothing much and going with the multimedia section there are few things you can play music directly from your like connected device so if you go to music player you can local music or you can use now it is connected as a uh, bt player and i don't have it on my phone now because i'm not using my personal phone to connect here so that's why i don't have anything there and there is nothing much also we got fm radio if you want to listen and we got file manager this device got pretty less storage maybe less than 1 mb because i was recording a voice note and it just can record it like four second after that it just stopped it and if you want like there is a remote capture button so you have to download some sort of app to like use this device as a, as a remote capture device but I could not able to find the app so it is pretty useless now we have BT dialer or this one is actually to connect your device as you can see my Redmi Note 6 Pro is connected now and we got a camera here useless camera and it does work as you can see how laggy it is you can see that pretty useless camera and there are organizer section if you go to organizer section okay, now bluetooth we are getting again bluetooth we have calendar and other things so this is the first phone i have ever got without any kind of games almost all the phones or dumb phone whatever phone is they come with like Sukobon or Sudoku, those kind of games. But this device did not come with any kind of games here. And also you cannot browse internet or anything you can do like that. 
So now I will show you how it does it work if you connect. I don't have any SIM card right now, but I did connect my phone with my another phone. So if I open my phone, so let's 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 dial a number. So now if I dial a one to one, so if I call now. So as you can see, it is showing BT call because I can't use local call because I don't have any kind of SIM card. Now if I use processing now, so as you can see, my phone is directly making phone call right now. So even if someone call me also, I can receive the phone call directly here if it is connected with my phone with Bluetooth and if it is in like in the coverage area, it will work perfectly fine. Even you can make phone call. One thing you cannot do if you like try one to one hash to check the balance, it will not work. As you can see, BT call not work. In that case, it will not work. You can make phone call, you can do text messaging, or you can read text message. So those things you can do. Now the use case of this phone. So I think this will be useful where like mobile like people snatch the phone. Like if, if you are afraid of uh, like taking out of your expensive phone and if you are in public you can use this device uh, to make phone call or to talk with person or texting in that case and if someone snatch your phone still your phone is with you it will you will lose a pretty cheap phone in that case this device is pretty good actually because you can do two things actually you can make phone calls from your sim card and also you can use it as a bt phone call device so pretty useful in that case other than that, I don't find it useful that much because of these buttons. If there is no buttons, like like physical buttons are there, I, I would like this phone because it is pretty slim. It does hold like power for a long time. Uh, you can use SD card, you can listen to music, you can listen to FM radio. Almost everything available. Yes, there is no games or no web browser. But those we don't need for a feature phone or dumb phone so pretty useful device but pretty dumb too like i don't really like the buttons so that's all about this device if you have used one of this kind of device you can let me know in the comment section below and why are you using this kind of device so that's all thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time